What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So as you can see right here, we have some 1660 Supers. These are actually Hynix memory, PNY cards, single fan GPUs. Uh, and apparently you can BIOS mod them. So right now they're getting right around 30, 31 mega hash. And we should be able to push these up to like 33 to 36 or so. I'm very interested to see if it works. I have recently, or not recently, but in the past, BIOS modded these RX 580s, came out great. I have also BIOS modded those RX 580s, came out great. They were only doing like 24 mega hash, and now these things are doing like 30, 31. Can't complain at all. Rock solid, like 70 watts. So what I'm going to do is basically call the only person that I know personally that has actually done this, not on this specific card, but he has BIOS modded his 1660 Hynix memory supers. So let's uh, let's get over there and make a phone call. What is going on, Seb's FinTech? How are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, man, good. So you're the only man that I know that has successfully flashed the BIOS on NVIDIA cards, like personally no. So give me the lowdown. This is what I need. I need help from you. Absolutely. So these BIOSes, there are there are two of them actually. One for MSI cards and one for palette cards. However, there's been a lot of success using them on other brand cards as well, like ASUS or PNY or and so on, right? Um, but so these only work for 1660 supers with Hynix memory. So if you have Samsung or Micron memory, these aren't for you. And basically they th these bioses they fix that weird overclocking glitch where on hynix memory 1660 supers you have to go like negative 502 on the memory clock right. or 1004 if you're in hive and that will give you the highest hash rate so it kind of fixes that but as a i guess side effect it also lets you push the memory even further so i've, I've seen people like you should be able to get at least 34 mega hash but i've seen people get upwards of like 37 mega hash oh, wow. on these um 1660 supers with hynix memory with these new bioses flashed on them uh but it does come at a cost since normally a 1660 super draw maybe like around 65 to 72 watts or something like that um with this bios like maxed out on the memory clock they tend to draw around like 85 like between 80 and 85 so you get a higher hash rate but also a higher um, power draw right that's not too bad though considering how much more you actually achieve because what do we have normally like 31 or so so i mean getting around you know 35 to 37 that's pretty impressive yeah. to say the least for you know 10 extra watts or whatever it'll be yeah exactly it's, it's like a free 10 percent performance boost at least pretty much that's crazy um, so just like going through the the process of actually doing it it is well at least for me i i did it in in windows um, and you're, you're gonna do it in hive is that right correct yep we're gonna try to do it in hive yep. os and uh i will back up the bios so i don't screw anything up and i will try to do it with exactly. one card first <laughs> yeah exactly that's what i was gonna say so you got p and y cards so i would try with the palette bios first um, because I got comments uh, on my channel saying people with uh, PNY cards were successful with the palette BIOS. If that doesn't work, then try the MSI BIOS. And if that doesn't work, well, make sure you, you back up your, your stock BIOS first, because then you're <laughs> going to have to like flash the stock BIOS back. Absolutely. Um, but I, I believe really that is it. There's no real tweaking or anything like that you need to do. You just like back up your current stock BIOS and then you just flash the the file that you got from me and you should be all good um just some because um, because i've had five of my cards running on these new bioses now for almost a month i think they are maybe like tiny tiny bits less stable but never to the point where it's like crashed the whole rig for me it will just be like a gpu will crash but it will pick right back up again oh okay how gpus kind of do normally um every once and again but what i what i will say is what if you feel on the actual gpu like the back plate gets hotter than it did with the stock bios so 
my like interpretation of what's happening is that the actual memory chips run a bit hotter with this new new BIOS. And since 1660 Supers don't have like memory junction temperature gauges, at least not that I think you can set your fan to, I would say, because the actual GPU core still runs at kind of the same temperature. So I would say increase your fan a bit more than you would normally to make sure your memories are cool. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. The only other question I would probably have for you after I BIOS mod these, do the clocks now change? Because you said that you don't do the negative 502 anymore. It kind of changes that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So you, you can still do that same locked core clock at, is it 1050 for 1660 Supers, right? I believe so. Yes, I yeah. think you're right. And, uh, but, but for the memory clock, you, you 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 overclock them normally instead so you, you go okay. just positive and you kind of just push it until they crash and then dial it back by 10 percent i think mine kind of topped out at around 1300 which i guess would be 2600 in hive right okay yeah because i have yeah. um i have a whole rig of 1660 supers so i will basically try to take those clocks because those are not hynix memory i would start at maybe 2000 and then just keep pushing it until they start crashing and then dial it back a bit. But that's that's just how I how I do it, you know. <laughs> no, absolutely. That's how everybody does yeah. it, man. We push them to yeah. get the most performance we can. And oh, just just one more thing is, um, n like, let the flash finish to a hundred percent. So you never like if, for example, it gets to like fifty percent and and fails, then don't reboot your rig or anything like that. Like keep trying until you get a successful flash even if that means you have to go back to your stock flash and get a flash because you don't want it to be like get to like 50 percent and then like shut your rig down right because that then you might run a risk of like breaking your gpu but that okay. is really kind of the only thing that i've heard that people might have done that has caused an issue. Thank you so much for talking to me today. And uh, I really appreciate all the guidance. Man, I'm looking uh, forward no to doing another video again. Yeah, it's good to talk to you, man. It's been a bit. I'll keep you updated for sure. Thanks, good luck. All right, so here we are inside my Hive OS. As you can see, the 1660 Supers right here, 31.69 on literally every single one of them, except for this one, it's 0.68, but they are literally on par with each other, right around between 70 and 77 watts, I guess. This one's at 68, it says in the software. This one says 77, so, I mean, in between that range. It's probably a little more at the wall, but at least you can see what they're getting now. So, first things first, I had to go and download the actual BIOS links that Mr. Seb Heslow sent me. We have a palette version and a MSI version and he told me as you guys heard to use the palette version for the PNYs if this doesn't work then we'll try to do the MSI but before I basically do anything with the BIOS we need to go and save these current ones scroll through all of your cards and try to find the ones that we need to save all right so here we are it ended up being on the third page of my Hive OS as you can see, it tells you exactly which rig it's on, whatever you named it. So you guys kind of need to know what the name of the rig is and obviously make sure it's the Hynix memory and a 1660 Super or whatever you're trying to flash. If it's a 580, make sure it says 580, whatever, you guys understand. So come over here, we're gonna click on the three dots and you're gonna click download vBIOS. We're gonna click save to the farm's vBIOS storage and choose download. So that's GPU seven. So now I'm gonna go to GPU six and I'm gonna download all of these. So once all of your vBIOSes are downloaded, you're gonna come right here to the vBIOS ROM storage after you were just in your cards. This is where they will go when you save it to the storage and you will see all five are now right here. So this is what we do now. We come over here, go to add BIOS. We are going to have to choose NVIDIA and we're gonna to have to find in our downloads folder, the palette, click open. I'm gonna type in Hynix PNY flash, and I'm gonna type in the same thing, Hynix PNY flash, just because I don't know what else to call it. 
So that should be it. Hit apply and it should upload. Now it is inside the vBIOS, inside of HiveOS. I'm actually just gonna upload the MSI one as well because why not? Okay, so now what we have to do, everything's saved. Worst case, we can upload the original BIOSes back to these cards. One thing I forgot to mention, you guys do need to make sure your miner is stopped when you're downloading and uploading vBIOSes and do not, I repeat, do not shut off your rig in any way because it could damage something seriously. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is the one that I noticed was pulling a little more wattage because why not, let's do this one first. Um, this is number two, so we're gonna click the three dots, gonna click select vBIOS, we're gonna check off, reboot after flash, force flashing, ignore security checking, and then we're gonna choose the PNY palette flash. And here goes nothing, flash cards. Now we need to wait. As you can see, it says in process. We're gonna give it a few and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, look at that. So now coming back to the actual minor page, it says ROM flashing okay, now reboot. All right, so I need to come down here. I think we did number two. So I need to change this to 1950 instead of negative 1004 and apply that. Because apparently when you reflash this, now you need to put this exactly like your other cards. So 1950 should be where it needs to be, but I guess we're gonna find out. I really hope I didn't ruin anything. Oh geez, look at that, 125 watts. <laughs> oh geez. All right, so now it's back down to a normal wattage, which is cool, 75 watts. This is what my other 1660s are running at, by the way. It's 1950 on the memory and 1050 on the core. That is the uh, absolute core clock or the lock clock as they call it. Wow, it's working. So check it out. She's holding stable at 34.57. 75 watts in the software. Again, 1950 on the memory. That's exactly what my other cards are at, so. I'm excited, I just gained three mega hash per card. I just need to flash the other ones. And I know I didn't show myself stopping the miner before I did the uh, V BIOS download and re-upload, but again, you always wanna make sure your miner is stopped and the rig is just idle. When you do things like this, obviously the BIOS, you're changing the entire DNA of the card. As you can see, it says V BIOS, Hynix PNY flash took on all of them. If it doesn't take, it will be like red and it'll tell you error or something. That is a beautiful sign. Look at that, 34.5 basically, all the way across the board. It's 34.48 here, 34.49, and this one is actually 34.51. All at 75 watts, literally it was doing, what, low 70s, high 60s? It just pumped up the clocks to 2450, and now we're getting 35 mega hash little more than 35 and a half. So Sebs, when I was talking to him, he actually mentioned to me that he got 1300 on the memory inside Windows, which means it would be right around 2600 in Hive OS. I just wanted to see 2450 because obviously being a little conservative, I guess, I didn't want to go overboard right away. I wanted to see if this actually worked and it is. My other Zotax, the 1660s don't want to go over 1950 stably. 35.7, all right, I'm gonna stop the miner here again, and I guess I'm just gonna bump it up to 2600 and see what it does. Worst case, I dial it back when I am back in the studio later tonight, if it doesn't like it. All right, they're all at 2600. Let's restart the miner and see what she does. 36, right off the bat, as soon as it started, these three pulled 36 and these Two are just under 36. I'm impressed. And as you guys can see right here, 75 power limit. That's exactly what it's pulling for wattage. I think if I put this to 80 or 85, I should be able to achieve right around 37, but I'm not willing to put that many more watts on the card for, what is it, one or one and a half mega hash. It's just not worth it to me. So I think I'm gonna roll with it just like this. I think that's perfect. I am so pumped to have 35 mega hash on these 1660 Super PNYs. That is amazing. So again, these things are pulling right around what, 30, 31? So to get four mega hash out of each, actually it's just about five. So four to five mega hash out of each, that's roughly 
20 to 25 mega hash, that's amazing. That is literally a free card. So guys, I hope you learned something today about uh, flashing BIOSes inside Hive OS. You can do it. You just need to make sure you do the right ones to the right cards. So say you have a Micron memory or a Samsung memory and you're trying to flash a Hynix memory onto it, you cannot do that. You will break the card. So please, please, please make sure you guys know what you're doing. Do your research. It's very risky to flash any type of BIOS, but as long as you know you're doing it right, then you guys shouldn't have any issues. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I will leave a link inside Misfit Mining Discord for you guys to download the uh, palette and the MSI Hynix BIOS for these cards. So feel free to join and grab them. The link is down in the description below. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I am so pumped that these took, you don't even know. I've been waiting a long time to do it just because I was very hesitant on the Nvidia flashing, but guys, it worked out great. I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.